So in this video we're going to use J2 Launch to record audio and video for general classroom purposes or indeed for evidence collection for moderation purposes. Now we're going to use the J2 Launch app here and we're going to use the app rather than the version of J2E which is simply available through Hub on the web because it principally allows us to record longer sequences of audio and video. So if you haven't got the J2 Launch app, go to the App Store, download it and then just make sure in your settings that it's set up to have access to your camera roll. So go to settings, scroll down, find J2 Launch and then just make sure that these are all checked. Photos, microphone and camera. OK, so now we're going to start J2 Launch. Click on the J2 Launch button and we're not going to worry about trying to log in using uh, the fields at the top. We're just going to go straight to the hub icon here. Click on that and that'll take us to the hub home page. We're going to log in in the usual way. Log in and then you'll need your hub username and password and I'm going to just pick the private computer option to log on so that if we're uploading for a longer period of time we don't get logged out. And here we are. Now the hub ecosystem is along the top here and I'm going to pick on J2E because that's the application I want to use. What you'll notice is that now we've used the app uh, to log in, we have these extra icons along the top. We have a folders icon which allows us to uh, access the camera roll. If you've recorded already using the camera roll, that's where you'll find the recordings. Uh, we can take uh, pictures directly, uh, record, uh, audio, take video as well. Now I'm just going to show you where everything's going to be uh, recorded to and saved. It's really, really simple. Click on the My Files icon uh, button here and you'll see uh, the default location for all of your files. I've already recorded a couple of audio tracks here and I'm just going to show you how to do uh, some others in a moment. On the left side here we've got in addition to my files pupils files so the pupils in your class will have their own my files areas and those will all come up here. So if I go down to here, I've got a class here. Uh, let's find a class here, test class. And you'll see these are individual pupils and their files. If they've recorded this directly themselves, that's where you'll find the files. I'm going to go back to my files here. OK, so let's record an audio file. Really simple. At the top, the microphone button. Click on the microphone button and that'll open the microphone tool. Uh, there's no countdown here. If I click on record it'll start recording immediately so let's do that so testing testing one two three the cat sat on the mat click on stop to stop the recording I can play it back if I really want to uh, and then when I'm happy with that I can simply add it to my files and upload it by clicking the plus button it uploads that now so the recording has now been uploaded and it's appeared just here in my my files area I want to change the name of that to be something more meaningful so I'm going to click on the information button and click on rename and I can change the name to anything I like. I'm going to call it something meaningful because it is for moderation purposes. So I'm going to put the subject in uh, and I'm going to put the level in, let's say it's level 3 and I'm going to call it 3.3 because it's the third piece of evidence I've got to for that particular level. You don't have to worry about the MP4 extension on the end, by the way. The system takes care of that. So I've just called it English Level 3.3, there's 3.2, there's 3.1. Now, incidentally, whilst we're here, if I click on the Information drop-down again, you will see there's a Share option. At the moment, this file is in my own My Files area. It's not available to anybody else. If I want to make it available, either for a blog or... Um, to be accessible for moderation purposes, I need to share this file. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So I'm going to click on Share. And you can see at the bottom here, this is the actual internet link for that file. But nobody can get to it, as I've said, because it's private. So I've got two options here. If it's anonymized, 
and there's no security uh, uh, or information risk associated with this file, which is mostly the case, you can simply publish it. That makes it available to anybody with that link. Um, if, however, it's not anonymized, but I still want it to become available, I can attach a password to it so I can make it available with a password. And then somebody clicks on that link, they'll be asked to put in a password to reach that file. Then you can put in the password of your choice here, and obviously you'll need to provide that information to the person that you want to have access. I'm simply going to publish it. OK. Uh, and that's the link that I would need to publish it with, but I will come back to that later on. You can see it's publicly available because there's this little globe on the top corner here. So that's it. I've uh, recorded my file, I've made it publicly available, and I know how to get to the link so that I can share that with others later on.